Now I want you to imagine it happening. And God in Yaku, so that it's easier for you to see Kumbule we exam. I believe my students they understand that going to something about Bonilin and something that they were told. So I want you to have an imaginative mind. This is how we can hear education, okay? It's in a DNA that we have is unwinds. When it unwinds, it's when that you call it in. It goes to the end of the year, it's a thing. Weak hydrogen bonds between nitrogenous bases, they, they break. Here, I'm a strength, they are breaking, and the DNA molecule is unzipping. Resulting into two separate strands. With strand A and strand B. Where is this process occurring? Inside the nucleus. So inside the nucleus, we have three floating nucleotides. N, U, P, T, N, U, P, T, N, U, P, T, G, N, U, P, T, C. A worker who you are still Why? Because as to know me, they are the A. So these three floating nucleotides, they will form an complementary base pairs with the original train. As so A, U, T, as O, 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 this results in a complementary strand which was complementary because of this original strain. We have one. Now we have, we had an original strain of a so B, Nakona. Using it as a template, it's a former another complementary strain. So now we had one DNA molecule, but now we have two. They are extremely genetically identical. Yes, or that. Then these DNA molecules are we as a co in the amygdala. From one DNA molecule, we have how many? Two. When we say they are genetically identical, even the pairing it is identical. Pairing is identical. Pairing is identical. Do you understand? So that is how DNA replication occurs diagrammatically.